It's a birthday. This is an automobile. <laughs> uh, you don't say car. This is an automobile. <laughs> and that cold start. <laughs> now you see what he was saying. Pop the front. Pop the front. <laughs> you hear Nasty. I like the dough handle. Yep. One more time. Start that motherfucker. Watch how you sit there, motherfucker. Watch. <laughs> You hear me? Look at Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Woo hoo! Woo! You gonna get something like that? You gonna get something like that? <laughs> hey, hey, you better put them up on the seatbelt on. <laughs> Get up under there. Get up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bucket seats. Get on in there. Eee. Our reservations are eight. We gotta get going. <laughs> I know, right? What? <laughs> what did it go to? Two hundred. <laughs> Look at my sweet little children. Look, Ann. She's Dottie's putting together a little snack to go plate for her. Um. <laughs> And she is so excited about it. Man, calm down. <laughs> all right, hey you guys, watch my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. All right, we getting into this thing, okay? Kicking off my dad's birthday. Girl, he came over here with a brand new Corvette, freshly ordered off the, uh, not the car lot, but I guess the 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 showroom the, the showroom floor, <laughs> the car show showroom floor. Girl, he went off okay my dad has always been into cars that's why i'm into cars you know what i'm saying so i'm not surprised you know but i'm glad i'm so proud of him i'm so glad he got what he wanted beautiful beautiful car well happy birthday dad and we're kicking it off girl we're on our way to um have dinner at his favorite place my dad loves indian food so we're going to india house for dinner alex made reservations so uh they're going off on their little you know joy ride right now and then when they come back we gotta head out because we're gonna be late girl and we're gonna be late mommy we can't be late and you know? we gotta get over there we're gonna be late sweet girl <laughs> all right let's go okay finally in we're finally in thanks dad after about 20 minutes of looking for a parking spot it smells so good hey we're finally in oh you got a stella already already queued up <laughs> and yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And look what you got. You got a cute little stuff. She's like, get in. Oh, uh, right. She's like, give me my stuff. Here. Oh. You ready for it? You got nothing here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, leave it in there. Leave it in there, Ann. <laughs> she wants the internet ASAP. Here, let's get you the internet. 
she can pick her, her snacks. Oh my god. Wait, Ian. She's pulling stuff out. Yeah. She put an apple out of there. Oh, she <laughs> she said no. <laughs> you cracking me up. Yeah, I said it. Give me one. Get ready to get one. Mommy, get pretzels. Get a few pretzels. What you doing? Yeah. Wait, order, order, order. <laughs> Thank you. Thank He's not coming. He's got to go to work. Oh, okay. Oh, the menu is on here? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would like the sock paneer. It comes with the rice, right? Yeah. And then do you have a chicken dish that's not spicy? I'm going to get the uh, tandoor mixed grill for that. Because it'll be for the child. Yeah, baby, yeah. chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala will make very much. Well, no, no sauce or anything, just plain chicken. Because she has a, um, a special diet. Okay, then uh, go with the kebab, madam. Yeah, because like a chicken, kebab. Chicken, the three kebab. It's yeah. Just, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you like, look his sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Smoky. Looks delicious. Mm, you better get, hit it with that lemon. Mmm. Hit it with that lemon. <laughs> that's all you, Dad. Is it? Where, where that rice at? Coming. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the garlic butter naan. We got lots of, lots, lots of basmati coming out. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm on that. Ann, come back. <laughs> Get back, Ann. Get out of there. Oh, I guess it ain't too crazy. Damn, wait. Nice. It depends. Mm. Yeah, dang, wait. Hey guys, welcome to the next day. Chilling in the kitchen, about to make some leftovers. Okay, this is a really strange day. It did not go as planned at all. So it started off according to plan. I dropped Ann off at therapy. I was running errands, trying to get ready for this weekend. You know, we're, we're taking a vacation, me and Anthony. Anywho, a couple hours go by after I drop her off. They're calling and saying that she was sick, so I had to go back and get her. And something is going on with her tummy. She's, um, Growing up a little bit. I don't know what is going on. There's no other accompanying symptoms. She doesn't have a fever. She's not experiencing anything else. She is just throwing up. So just trying to keep an eye on it. She's constantly drinking water and stuff. Um, so that's good, but she hasn't eaten anything today. I don't know, y'all. We're gonna have to keep an eye on it. But I still have errands to run. I still gotta go to the gym. Didn't get to go earlier, but I'm gonna go for one of the evening classes. And I'm just warming up leftovers, as you can hear. Indian food is so good the next day. Same thing with Ethiopian food. Anything with a lot of spice and herbs and seasoning is so good the next day. So um, I took home some of that sock paneer and the um, the shrimp dish, whatever, some kind of masala or something. And um, I let my dad take all the basmati rice that was left. And so I was like, oh, I'll just make some basmati rice at home because I have some. But I'm like, hold up. This will go good with some grits too. So I made some instant grits. I'm just going to pour this stuff over the top of it. I love grits, okay? And we're gonna eat the leftover naan. So Anthony um, was asleep getting his um, his rest for the day because you know he's on nights right now. So he's just getting up. So we're gonna enjoy this meal together um, while also checking on Ann. Okay, this is how it's looking. <laughs> so delicious, y'all. Look at that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, got my grits down in there. That's gonna be good. <laughs> It was decent with those grits, wasn't it? Oh, very good. 
<laughs> then he missed the rice. I like the texture of the grits better than the rice. Yeah, at some point. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for the gym. The class starts in 40 minutes. I'm gonna be working out with um, Roderick. I hope he doesn't kill me. <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah. I'm doing the 45 minute class. Anywho, <clears throat> y'all, we're very excited about our trip this weekend. Um, we're very excited about it, right, baby? Yeah, can't wait. Definitely need a break. Definitely need a vacay without Ann coming along. We love you, Ann. Mm -hmm. Ann gonna be hanging out with Michelle. And yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's supposed to be like an all white party. Um, there's a pool party. It's just gonna be some good, wholesome adult fun. And this is a fun group that we're going with too. I don't know what this green one is, but baby, what? The Balfour. Oh, but why is it coming from China? Everything's from China. <laughs> Shopping for hair in my own closet. <laughs> this is my hair braiding stash, y'all. These are packs that I didn't use, like leftover hair um, from different hairstyles, like faux locks and knotless box braids and that sort of thing. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have to go to the beauty supply to get new hair, but I'm like, I might actually have what it is that I'm looking for. So I got this pack of six little bundlets. It's about the color I want. Right now I'm just doing laundry. Really trying to prepare for the end of the week because I know the closer we get to Friday, things are going to be really hectic. You know, preparing the house, making sure Ann has everything she needs and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm just starting on it now so it doesn't become overwhelming at the end of the week. Salsa Girl is chilling. Chilling like a villain. And um, her vaccine lumps are just about all the way gone. This one is still there a little bit. It's okay, girl. It's okay. Um, is there just a wee bit, but for the most part, she's um, she's back to normal. Girl, I'm not about to be rubbing on you. I got stuff to do. You can just forget it. You can just forget it, okay? I'm not about to just be standing here rubbing on you. I got stuff to do. <laughs> so it's really a pretty quiet early evening. Everyone's just kind of resting and everything. Anthony is getting his sleep before work, um, so him and Ann are in there laying in the bed together. With the shades closed, it's really dark in there and everything. So me and Sans are just running around getting things done. So I won't bore you guys with the rest of our evening. Um, so I will talk to you tomorrow. You should really low-key be pretty sleepy. The long day we just had. She's playing with her new books that Grandpa got her. Hello Ocean. Hello. With all the ocean animals. Hello. And then Hello, Hello. Farm. Hello. With all the farm animals. She really Hello. likes these. Hello. Girl, we just got back from the mall. It was something to behold. It was something. Girl, Dottie was up in here asleep because he goes to work in a couple hours and it's nighttime. So he was getting his rest and stuff. So I took her with me and it was really, really hard because I needed to do a lot of shopping. Sansa, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi, Nosy? Hi. You been getting on my nerves today, girl. Just following me all around, just just following me all around, just my shadow, honey, my shadow. She's like, is this affection? I love it, I love it. Is this affection? Oh, give me more. Hello, the parrot's on my She just fell out on her back. Look, just, oh, oh, just give me everything. Give me everything you got. Oh, oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Anywho, look at Ann. Somebody's really tired. It's, a, it's been a long day. Lay down, mommy, you can lay down. No judgment. I wanted to show y'all what I got from the store, okay? Where's my tripod? I thought I had it. Sa Sansa, excuse me. Excuse me, Sansa. Okay, I was trying to wait until all the chaos um, calmed down, but I guess it's not gonna, so I don't even care. It's just gonna be a chaotic um, little hole, okay? I just wanna show y'all what I got from the mall today, okay? So me and Ann went to Oak Brook, y'all. We had lunch at Wildfire. It was a cute little mommy and me day, you know? Even though it was hectic, okay? I burned so many calories. Um, I burned so many calories today, but anyway, girl, I went to a lot of stores today. I went to Nordstrom, I went to Macy's, I went to Burberry, and I went to um, Anthropology. So, 
We went to a lot of um, stores today. Can y'all see me? I also ordered some stuff online, but I only ordered from, um, I told y'all from Fashion Nova. Come here, mommy. Mm -hmm. Fashion Nova and uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go get you. <laughs> so let me, let me show y'all what I got from, um, from uh, Fashion Nova. Where did this come from? I don't even know, girl. Let me show y'all this stuff first. So this is like a, a cover up for bathing suit, I think. I think you could also just get away with just sort of wearing it, but it's definitely resort wear. You can get away with walking around on the resort with this. And it's pretty see-through. It's knitted, it's yellow. The lighting is not so good, y'all, because it's um, almost 7 p.m., so the lighting is just real, real, real messed up. And it's being so silly. So yeah, this this thing here, okay, and then it comes with this, um, this bra top. Y'all, this is so cute. This is perfect for going on vacation, going on a boat ride or a cruise. So this is the bra top. So this is what I was gonna do, y'all. I was gonna get one of those like uh, bra, or I guess bust liners that are in like um, sports bras and stuff. I never have to use those because I don't need that much support up top when I'm working out. So I was just gonna take those out and sew them into here so that I could just wear this as is and then I could just put um, a bikini bottom under this, you know, just like a basic um, bikini bottom. So that's what I was thinking. No, I think I got that from um, Amazon. And I'll put links to everything below y'all, okay? And please, girl, um, couldn't resist this dress, y'all. Couldn't resist it. Look at that. It's so fun, it looks really artsy. And it has a really low neckline, so you can't really wear a bra with this. So you just gotta rock your natural boobies. Um, it's really stretchy, super comfy fitting. It feels like a gown. Um, it's like a midi, so it comes down pretty, um, pretty low below the knee. And it's not see-through at all, which is great. Um, but you really don't even need undergarments with this unless you're wearing shapewear. This is really resort style, like walking around on the resort, being real sexy, maybe going to dinner. I love this, y'all. I tried it on already. And be quiet. And, 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 and. Come on. We're doing a little too much, making too much noise. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Go in your room, okay? Go in your room. Go in your room. Like it was cute at first, and it just started getting like obnoxious, right? Right? <laughs> I'm gonna be myself think. Anyway, and it has a little belt in the waist. Really cute, y'all. Fashion Nova, um, and it was on sale. Cause we're having an all white dinner one night. Y'all know how black people do. You know, we gotta have all white dinners and stuff. So um, I got this top. Ooh, it's washing it out. It's blowing it out so bad. Can y'all see that? It ties like right here in the front. You know what I'm saying? And it's got some nice puffy sleeves and then this is what the wrist is looking like. Um, just really kind of fun. It's like chiffon material. That top actually comes with as a set, and these are the pants, so they're the same kind of chiffon material. Very, very nice. They are a little bit see-through. Not terribly, because it, it does have a lining, so it's not terribly see-through, um, but I would not even want to risk it, because they have a really nice, like, tapered fit. You know, they really, like, kind of hug the hip area, which makes it look so nice. So I would do either, I would go either commando or thong, you know what I mean? Or shapewear only. I would not try to wear a regular pair of panties because it's going to show through. Like there's seamless, I don't care what they say, it's gonna show through. So either you do some shapewear, the ones that are like shorts, um, you can probably get away with those, or a complete thong. And just let, let that butt, let that butt just hang on out, girl, because you don't want people seeing your uh, panty line. That's, that's so tacky. All right, and then the last thing from Fashion Nova is another cover up. Um, set that you would wear with a bathing suit. I was trying to stuff on last night, so some of it is inside out. Um, this one is really cute, y'all. It's got that natural woven material look to it. See, there it goes. And it's got some fringe. So this would be the top. It's cropped, of course, and it has the slits on the sleeve, right? It's gonna be so cute. And then it comes with a long skirt that has two slits on each side. So here's the skirt, fringe. Ooh, this lighting is so bad. Okay, so this is the, the skirt. So it's, it's all very see-through, um, but only somewhat, not fully, right? You can't really make out what you're looking at. So this is definitely a really good, modest cover-up, and I just think it's so cute for a beach party, pool party, you know, stuff like that, right? So there's that. So that's all I got from Fashion Nova. Now let me show y'all what I got from Amazon. So I found this um, two-piece set. It's kind of like a lounge set, um, you know, type of thing. Perfect for plane rides or, you know, just hanging around the resort on a um, 
really like laid back kind of day. So it's tapered around the ankle. It's really, it really gives jogger set, right? It has the, um, the tie in the waist. Um, it has pockets, really soft, like almost jersey material, right? Love the color, you know, it's kind of like that plum color. That's like my favorite color to wear on my skin tone. And then it comes with this nice tank, y'all, which you would tuck into the pants. You wouldn't just wear it hanging out. You would tuck it in and you would have like that really cool, you know, laid back lounge kind of look. So I think this is so much fun with like a cute baseball cap. You know, you can wear this with some sandals or some sneakers or some Vans or some Toms, you, you, you get where I'm going with this. And you guys, I'm not trying any of this stuff on because I just ugh, don't even feel like it, but if you watch my next vlog after this one, you'll see me wearing all this stuff. So the next outfit I got from Amazon is this cute olive, this really, really light colored olive set, right? It's ribbed and the top is cropped, almost like a sports bra. And then it comes with the lounge pants with the tie in the waist, elastic, super stretchy and soft, y'all. Like, this is so comfy. Um, the pants legs are wide like this. And um, the only thing I don't love about this, these pants, you guys, is that the middle part drops a little low for my taste. So um, it doesn't really like hug the hip area like I like. You know, I usually like the hip area to be hugged pretty good. Because you know, when you're curvy, you know, when you got like a little, when you got some humps, you kind of want to be hugged so everything can kind of feel like it's being controlled. You know, I don't like feeling like I'm just twerking. You know, everything is just shaking and wobbling as I'm walking. I like stuff to be, I like stuff to feel like it's being controlled. So, it's the only thing I don't like about these pants. But, when I show you the next piece, you'll understand why that doesn't matter as much. And here is the third piece to the set. It is a long, like, duster type of thing. So, nobody's going to see your butt jiggling. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you'll know your butt's jiggling, but no one's going to see it. And, um, I just really like the way this looks all together is that three-piece set. You know, if it was a long tank, if the tank wasn't cropped, I probably wouldn't love it as much, but the fact that you have like that little mom riff showing, but you have the modesty of the duster, you know, if it gets a little cool, you throw this on, and you know, you have your, your, your pants, everything fits comfy, nothing's pushing too tight or anything. So I really like this, y'all. I think this is a really cute set. Okay, so that's everything that I ordered from online. Let me show y'all what I got from the mall. So I went to Anthropology. Um, I went in the dressing room with a bunch of stuff and only left with one thing, because that stuff was not fitting my butt right, okay? So I got this dress. What I love most about it is the pattern, y'all. This is like the perfect like tropical island party dress. Like this is the perfect dress. I love how along the back shoulder part you have this kind of resting to keep all of the front part together. I love that, that's so smart. Nice bell sleeves. Really, really soft material, y'all. It feels a little bit like a silk cotton blend type of thing. Like it's just really, really nice on the skin. It's like a party dress, you know, so it flares out a little bit. You got the belted area in the middle and you have this kind of folded front part. So you can wear a strapless bra with this to get some more support in the front. But this is such a fun dress, you guys. Like, I really, really love it. But yeah, it's got little tigers on here and exotic flowers. It's just, this is dope. I love this dress. What's next? So I wanted to get some shoes. So I went to good old trusty Macy's. Yeah, I went to Neiman Marcus thinking I'm about to splurge and get me some designer shoes. And they didn't have nothing I liked. Like, I was so surprised they didn't have nothing I liked. And I'm like, I'm not just spending money for nothing, right? I gotta really like it. Um, but this is the look I was kind of going for. I really wanted um, that braided, chunky, um, kind of mule type of heel. It's like that skin tone look to it, so it's like a brown girl nude, you know what I'm saying? And this is Madden Girl, it's got a nice thick chunky heel, so I can see this being really easy to walk in. And y'all, when I tried these on, it made my feet look so pretty and dainty, so I'm really excited about these. Like, I'm gonna be wearing these all summer. They do um, flap, you know, kind of like a flip-flop type of thing, because there is no straps or anything, but because the heel is so chunky, it's easy to control it, so I don't think it'll be a problem, but some people might not like that. Next for shoes, well, next for Macy's. Um, so also when I was at Macy's, y'all, I was in the little coach section and I could not resist. This really, really cute coach bag, top handle, tiny little sucker. Y'all, this is like a, um, a really warm mustard color, right? Um, almost giving brown, you know what I mean? But I thought this would be such a cute compliment. It's just, you know, the one little strap, you know, and you can fit whatever your essentials are gonna be, like your phone, your credit cards, your lipstick, that sort of thing. So this was so much fun, y'all, and I was really excited because it was on sale. It was 40% off of $400. So I only paid um, $237 plus tax 
right? Totally worth it, y'all. Look how cute. Look how freaking cute. Like, thank you. So yeah, I'm gonna be bringing this along as well. I cannot resist. Okay, I also went to whack ass Zara. I can't stand Zara. Like, I think I'm done with Zara. Um, the lines be too long, I just can't deal. I just can't deal. Uh, lines be too long, overhyped. Um, some of that stuff does not need to be priced the way it's priced. And the people on the register, I think, are the ones making the lines move so slow because they just take forever taking the hangers off and all that stuff. Cannot deal with it. But the good news is that I saw two subscribers of mine today in Zara. Like, five minutes between each other. It was really, really cool to meet y'all if y'all are watching. What's up, girl? Okay, I had to change my battery really quick. We're back in action. Okay, so where was I? Oh, Zara, right? Um, so let me show y'all this cute little set that I got. I got all sets for this trip. Trips call for sets. It's easy to organize that way. So look at this retro um, pants set, y'all. This is so stretchy. It doesn't even make any sense. Let me see if I can give y'all an idea of the color. It's like a nice pink coral with a nice light pastel kind of pink, right? So they're layered in there together. Really, really fun. It's definitely giving, you know, early 70s and the pants kind of bell out a little bit, not a lot. And it's so much fun. Let me show y'all the top that goes with it. When I tell y'all this material is so stretchy, definitely don't size up with something like this because it's gonna stretch so, so much. And it gives a lot, so it's not gonna have you looking bulgy and stuff like that. So that's why I love this material. But this is the top, and it's kind of ruched right up here at the top here, which makes it look kind of fun. And it's obviously cropped. This is such a cute outfit for um, vacationing, walking around on a resort. And then let me keep my receipt just in case, y'all. My bag got tore up. I just did not have a good uh, customer experience in Zara today, girl. But anyway, um, I got this shirt for Anthony because I just thought this would be so cute. Um, when I was in line, I saw it and I just picked it up and threw it on the counter with my stuff. I thought it would be so cute for him. This is a, a cute look for him, rolled up sleeves. And it's just like that linen look, you know, perfect for vacation. So I'm gonna see if he can fit this and if he likes it, but I kept my receipt just in case. Okay, let me show y'all what I got from um, from Nordstrom, okay? I wasn't done with sandals. I feel like I, feel like I needed one more pair, right? So um, these are Gucci. I was looking at these last year and I was unsure if I should get them. And then, girl, when I tried it on, I'm like, these are cuter than I thought. Um, they look way better on. Y'all have seen these, but y'all, these are like uh, really, really durable, some type of uh, vinyl material. And this is the white, right? You're, you're seeing that correctly. It's got the Gucci embossed um, right there on the top. And y'all, it looks like patent leather though when you look at them. But when I say y'all, these are comfortable, they are literally like raised slides, right? These are supposed to be mules, like really casual mules, but they really just fit and feel like raised slides. So you get a little bit of that heel, but you get the comfort and carefree uh, laid back look of a slide. So these are so much fun to wear with like some nice jeans, some nice uh, cut off shorts. Girl, you can even kind of dress this up with some nice dress pants, slacks. I mean, I can see myself doing so much with this. So I was really inspired to buy them because of this trip. I always buy my cute summer stuff when I'm going um, on vacation in the summer. But I, I can see myself wearing these just kind of ongoing. So good, y'all. And I think when they start getting a little dirty, I think I can just pretty much clean these with like, um, like a Clorox white. Like, I don't see why not. It's got some more embossing. It's just like this cool little pattern underneath there. So these were really cool. Okay, and lastly, Burberry. I just wanted to get a pair of um, slides to match Ann's. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that um, um, one of Burberry's retailers um, in Europe had sent Ann like this, all this Burberry stuff. And so she had got some slides and I kind of wanted to match hers. So I just got me some. So here they are, just basic slides. I felt like this could match my bathing suit that I have, but let me let me double check actually, because I wasn't sure. Aha, okay. Here's the bathing suit that I have that I'm probably gonna wear on this trip. And here are the slides, so it does match. I was not sure, y'all, I was so, like, I don't know if I wanna do this, you know, because if it wasn't gonna be the same checkers or the same print, it wasn't gonna be the same print, I didn't even wanna pull it. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be kind of fun. That's kind of fun. I don't think it's doing too much. The lady in the store said people do this all the time, wear like both patterns like that, so it'll be fun. But either way, I wanted to get those to match Anne because she has some, so. Anyway, y'all, 
that is it for this little uh, haul real quick. Um, just showing y'all what I got for my trip. Um, so tonight I'm going to be heading to the gym. If I can still make it, I'm gonna see if I can still make it um, to the late class. But I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna shampoo my hair and condition it. And then tomorrow I'm gonna braid my hair. And then um, I'll be ready to start packing and I'll be good to go. Because I wanna give myself enough time to get um, Ann's babysitter, you know, acclimated make sure she knows where everything is make sure she's comfortable and settled in and all that stuff so i want to give myself plenty of time so i feel like it might look like i'm doing a lot like back to back but that's because the days as we get closer to our travel date i don't want to have anything on my plate i want to have a clear head clear schedule so if something comes up i can just address it you know that's how i like to move sometimes especially when i'm leaving in so um so yeah that's pretty much uh the rest of the evening and the next time y'all see me well, the next vlog you guys see, we will be in um, Costa Rica and I'll be vlogging hopefully and sharing all the fun stuff we do. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw all the footage because I usually post in real time on Instagram. So by the time you guys see this vlog, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen the trip. But definitely stay tuned to the next vlog and see all the details. So I'm gonna be giving you guys the tea, okay? So I love you guys so much. Thanks for uh, watching today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.